How does a college in Rhode Island manage to rank in the top 25 in NIL compensation? I just got back from Friartown. This is Friartown. Here are the top five things that you need to know about Providence College and their NIL program. Number one, Providence has great leadership. Steve Napolillo has been the athletic director for two and a half years, but he's been at Providence College for 20 plus years. And in those 20 plus years, he's raised nearly $100 million in gifts for Providence College. He took over for Bob Driscoll, who was on campus for 21 years. So these guys are tight knit in the community. They know what to expect. They know what Friar fans want. And that leads to a lot of energy amongst the team, the staff, and the coaches that they bring to Rhode Island. I want to give a quick shout out to some staff members here. We got Jennifer Cunningham, who runs the Friar Edge program. We'll talk about that. Jonah Castro, who's essential in the compliance side of thing and really figuring out how to stay ahead. And then Mariana Perez, who's taken over all things NIL at Providence College. So leadership is the starting point on any NIL program and Providence has a lot of it. Number two, Providence has a well-built collective. The Fire Family Collective is one of the first in the Big East and one of the most well-structured across the country. It supports athletes across all sports and they've got corporate partners like South Coast Health and Coca-Cola. They also run FriarGear.com where fans can get officially licensed NIL merchandise, jerseys and shirts, and different opportunities to buy things that directly benefit the student athletes at Providence College. The collective is also deeply engaged in the community. They do some impact programs and things like Make-A-Wish events and Stand Up to Cancer, so they're giving back to the community, working together with student athletes in Providence, Rhode Island. I want to give a special shout to Mike and Brian and the entire Friar Family Collective team because they're giving us feedback and insights on how to make Open Doors better. A lot of the insights that they provide us are changing and impacting the ways that we build our platform for collectives across the country. So shout out to the Friar Family Collective. And a collective is essential in having a successful NIL program today in college athletics. Number three, Providence has best-in-class NIL tools. When student-athletes arrive at Providence College, they're told to download the Open Doors app where they get their NIL education, they get their NIL content, photos and videos from practice and games, they get tens of thousands of pieces of content directly from Providence College Athletics, which th they use to build up their brand and build up their profile in the open doors marketplace to get that all-star profile status and get more deals. So Steve Napolo and the team at Providence have invested in having best-in-class tools. They're not using free tools off the street. They're investing in having the best of the best. And that's open doors. I'm thankful for the partnership, but they really utilize this tool. And what's the results of that? Well, from year one to two in NIL, the NIL compensation grew by 10x at Providence College. And then from year two to three, it grew 3x, like tripled again. So this is big time growth because they're leaning in and using these tools. But the student athletes aren't doing this all on their own. They're getting a lot of support and help from the athletic department in navigating NIL. Number four, Providence keeps their student athletes up to date with NIL in a pretty innovative way. The Friar Edge is the student athlete development program at Providence College. And Jennifer and the team use social media to let their student athletes know what they should be doing as it relates to NIL. So they're notifying them about how to get an all-star profile on Open Doors to share their open doors profile to get more opportunities to come their way. And they just use social media to meet student athletes where they are. So if you work in college athletics, think about this. Your student athletes are scrolling through social media all day, every day. Why not put tips and tricks about how to maximize NL opportunities and reminders right in front of their face using social media. So Friar Edge and Jennifer and the crew they're doing this right. Everyone should be doing this. And number five, Providence attracts big time brands. All of the things I've just mentioned have led to big time brands wanting to work with Providence College athletes. Devin Carter was one of the dozen or so athletes that Dunkin' Donuts partnered with last year. And Devin's now headed off to the NBA. Bryce Hopkins, a standout on the basketball team at Providence, just landed a deal with Verizon through our partnership with Zinks. So big brands see Providence athletes and the opportunity to market to Rhode Island consumers as a great value and the athletes at Providence are easy to access and work with. It's just something that happens when you put everything in one place. So I'm super thankful for Providence College and their investment in Open Doors. And I got to give you one bonus tip. One of my favorite taverns and bars in the Northeast, maybe the country, is in Providence, Rhode Island. If you ever find yourself there, go find Blake's Tavern. That's right, Blake's Tavern. Again, it's the best spot in town for a nightcap, but maybe one of the best places, again, in the country. And I'm incredibly biased. Blake's Tavern, the name gives it away. Thankful, again, for Providence College, for Steve Knapp and their belief in open doors and putting everything in one place. So these are things that can lead to success for NIL is if you simplify things, make sure that you have best-in-class tools day one when student athletes come to campus, support 
boots on the ground on campus, a great collective in the community, and just leadership. Leadership saying this is where we need to be, this is the standard we set. That's how it become one of the top 25 programs in the country as it relates to NIL.